They've been leading the nation through the first global pandemic in more than a hundred years. Teams of scientists and health experts from Public Health England all pivotal in keeping us safe. We know the, the genome. Yes. yes. So, so we can uh, test for it. Yes. But despite being praised by the Prime Minister back in March, the government's now scrapping the agency. We'll have a new National Institute for Health Protection whose sole mission is to respond to the pandemic and it, to spot future risks and future pandemics and bring all that together under one roof. PHE will focus on other health strategies like obesity and smoking. The government's been accused of using the body as a scapegoat for its own failings. Others question the timing of such a large and disruptive restructuring. Who've been working non-stop, whether they're in local government or Public Health England or anywhere else. And we need everyone to continue to be totally focused on that job in hand. So you cannot see the wisdom in this at all? It just doesn't make sense to be doing this whilst we are in the midst of dealing with the pandemic. PHE has been hugely criticised, though. It stopped testing and tracing contacts of those who tested positive for coronavirus right at the beginning of the pandemic. After huge criticism and calls to ramp up testing again, the government announced a new programme of test and trace led by Conservative peer Baroness Harding. She will now head up the National Institute for Health Protection. Harding's background is in management, working at Thomas Cook, Tesco and Sainsbury's before becoming chief executive of telecoms company Talk Talk. Under her, it was voted Britain's worst business for customer service. A cyber attack also led to the details of thousands of customers to be accessed, costing the company £60 million. She was made a Conservative life peer and in 2017 was appointed chair of NHS Improvement. And her time at NHS Test and Trace hasn't been without criticism. One of the errors one has to point to is the creation of NHS Test and Trace, which uh, Baroness Harding has been in charge of, and its performance has been lamentable. It's one of the reasons why we have now more than 1,000 cases a day being reported for most of the last week or fortnight, and that is unacceptable. We're told these changes will give us the best chance of beating this deadly virus. With hundreds of cases still being reported, we can only hope they will. Emily Morgan, News at 10.